What is going on? Sticks 10 here. Today we are going to do a Nuzlocke. We are going to jump into Pokemon Leaf Green and we are going to do a full Nuzlocke here for the channel. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, we typically do Pokemon Go and we've kind of dropped off of that, but we are going to jump into this Nuzlocke. I wanted to do something Pokemon related and I decided this is what we we're going to do. Uh, I did decide on a theme for this. We are going to do Percy Jackson names. Uh, for all of our Pokemon and our rivals and everything. So we'll be Percy and then our rival we will go ahead and name. Uh, spoiler alert here, it's going to be Luke. And uh, hopefully you guys, if you guys enjoy uh, the Percy Jackson series, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I haven't gone through all of them. I've just done, uh, let's see, I've, I've done the first uh, five books of the series. I haven't gotten much past that. Go ahead and jump in here. Go ahead and grab our potion that we can get here. Um, and there we go, boot it up and withdraw our one potion that we can get. Uh, so Nuzlocke, if you guys aren't familiar, we are going to, uh, basically if the Pokemon faints, it is going to be released. Um, and then you have to nickname every Pokemon and you can only catch the first Pokemon on each route or area. Um, so we'll go through here and... Um, so basically the, the first section of this, we can't actually catch a Pokemon. So route one, um, uh, we're not going to be able to catch the first Pokemon we see. So we will, um, won't count route one until you get through, uh, the first part for Professor Oak here. We are going to choose Bulbasaur as our first Pokemon. Um, I really do. I like Bulbasaur. I haven't done, um, a ton of grass stars. Usually I pick Squirtle in this one. Uh, so I did want to do something a little different. So we'll do Bulbasaur. I'm going to name him uh, Pan. Uh, I thought about doing Grover for this, but I think I'm going to use Pan uh, since he is the nature god. Uh, we will use that. I uh, could also do a few other names there, but we're going to do Pan for right now. Uh, so here is our first rival battle. Uh, we're going to jump in against Luke. Uh, if we do lose this, it will be a wipe, and we will go ahead and... Uh, go and you know do all that business um, so we can go in here and jump into this battle and he's gonna send out Charmander luckily um, you know doesn't know Ember or anything like that um, so this first one uh, we'll do Growl to make his attack fall a couple times um, I think if we just do twice and then and then we start hitting with tackle um, I think we'll be okay here. Everybody's just tackling or scratching. And there we go. Took care of that with 6 HP. We had, we had, we were fine. Like, no big deal there. Uh, we get to level 6, so that's good. Um, the next time we fight our rival, um, we will be, uh, he'll be level 9, I believe, for both his Pokemon. Uh, so right now, any wild encounters here. We are going to speed this up uh, just to get through this uh, route. Um, oops, I turned the wrong way. Um, so we will battle a couple of these just to get some experience. Because uh, we can't catch them or do anything else. Um, and then, so now we're going to go to the Pokemart. And we can't buy any Pokeballs here. So again, uh, the route is still dead to us. Uh, we can't do anything on it. Uh, but we'll try to avoid as many encounters on the way back as we can. Um, there we go. Didn't get any encounters. So blah, blah, blah. Storyline here. Uh, we'll go through. And nothing really happens here. Uh, we get our Pokedex. And and then we'll leave. We'll go. Uh, oops, I went in the wrong house. Uh, that's my mom. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to go over here and get our town map. I don't know how necessary it, it really is. Uh, but go through and get our first Pokemon here on Route 1. Um, let's see if we can get it. And it's going to be a Rattata. Yeah, I was kind of going back and forth whether we should do Percy Jackson theme or Harry Potter theme on this. Um, I did go with Percy Jackson. I feel like there's some... Uh, I, I like Greek mythology a lot, so I figured uh, that'd be better there for that. Uh, this Rattata. Um, I was trying to think of a good name for it. And honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to name it. Oh, what, what should we name it? I think I'm going to name it Mr. D. 
uh, for Dionysus. Uh, they always call him Mr. D in the books. So we'll go ahead and do that for our Rattata. Um, maybe at some point it will help us in some way, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so there's our next encounter um, and another Rattata here. So we'll just tackle um, get. Uh, I'd like to be around uh, level 12 when we go for the first gym. Uh, we probably, I don't know if we'll have enough time in this episode to get to the first gym. Um, I'm going to go through and we will get rid of some of this uh, grinding, uh, but we'll get to our first spot at least. Um, and I'd like to get, uh, before our rival battle, all of our Pokemon up to nine um, that I think I'm going to use. I'll probably have a, um, I think we can get a Pidgey, a Weedle, a Caterpie, something, something like that. Uh, we can do Viridian Forest, um, Route 2, and then I think Route 22 is where our rival battle is. So, uh, whoops, pushed the wrong button. And I keep pushing the wrong button. So, let's go ahead. I'd like to get, um, whoops. Um, switch him with Mr. D just to get Mr. D uh, some levels here uh, so we can do some grinding but right now uh, we will go up and get our um, I had to talk to this guy uh, you could talk to him before we never made it that far um, and he shows you now uh, before he, he tells you you have to go back or something like he's blocking you until you uh, deliver the parcel basically so Weedle Go ahead. He shows us how to catch that. Great. Can't do anything there. Um, so let's go up here. Uh, route 2 now. So we can catch another Pokemon. Um, and trying to decide what we should do here. Yeah, let's just catch that Pokemon. I was trying to decide you can go past Viridian Forest and then catch one. Um, but um, maybe we should have. Because that uh, level 2 uh, Pidgey here, that's going to take a little bit of work. Um, but hey, we do get the Pidgey, um, and we'll level him up. Uh, I'd like to get him to 9 or 10, probably, um, before we battle our rival. Uh, use him, and for a nickname, uh, I think, uh, I always think Wings and everything, so I think I'm going to do Hermes uh, for this one. Uh, I could do, like, uh, something else. Yeah, I think I'm going to save another one that I have, a bird name that I was thinking of with along with Hermes. Uh, but I think Hermes is probably um, a good name here uh, for our Pidgey. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, this Nuzlocke so far. If you are a subscriber to the channel, uh, we are going to be doing some more challenges, some more Nuzlocke, stuff like that on this channel. And yeah, Hermes, I do think uh, the Messenger God, he had wings. Um, so I think a bird named Hermes is, is good. Um, you know, I, and the, and the main reason, so, so I don't think Gen 1 has an owl Pokemon and that, that is why I went away from doing Harry Potter because Hedwig, obviously if we were doing like Knocked Owl or something like that, makes a lot of sense. Uh, but in this generation, I don't think you could just name something Hedwig. I don't, I wouldn't feel right about it. So uh, Percy Jackson is the way it is. There we go. We update our Pokemon on the side there. Um, and uh, we did some more training to Mr. D. He's level 5 now. But uh, I want to get Hermes up and running. I think at... Uh, I don't remember what level it is. He's going to learn uh, Gust. I can't remember. Is it... Is it... Six? Seven? I don't I don't know. Somewhere in there he's going he's gonna to learn Gust. Uh, we'll go over here and get our Viridian Forest encounter and get this little Pokeball here. We got a potion, uh, which reminds me that we haven't bought any potions or antidotes, which is kind of important. Um, uh, so we're going to have to switch here into Pan. Uh, the thing I hope for most of the time when I go into these is that it's a Metapod. Uh, oh, that was uh, close to knocking that Caterpie out, and we would have lost our um, encounter in Viridian Forest, but we do get a Caterpie, um, and I'm going to name it, uh, I'm trying to think what would be a good name here, um, I mean, we could do, uh, 
like Demeter maybe, I think might be okay. It's gonna turn into Butterfree eventually. Um, so kind of thinking garden, that kind of thing, Demeter, sure, whatever. Uh, I don't know if that necessarily fits the best. I couldn't think of anything great here. Uh, maybe I should have written out some thoughts um, before I really started this. And hopefully that's how you spell Demeter. It could be totally wrong. Anyways, we get a nice little Caterpie. Uh, we're gonna run back, heal up, and go back out and do some grinding. Um, and go ahead and do that. And I mean, we're, we're looking pretty good. I, I feel like we're doing okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna get our some of our stuff, buy some more Pokeballs. Um, uh, yeah, we can buy H or buy a few potions and buy like an antidote or two. Uh, we have some potions, so I feel like we'll keep a few. Uh, I haven't decided if I wanna do like hardcore Nuzlocke where you're not able to use items. There are held items in, um, in uh, this version. So I think that'll help a lot to where I don't feel like I need to use the potions. Uh, we'll see though. Um, I don't know. Uh, so we'll go through here and do some grinding uh, session in the grass. I'm going to try to cut some of these out uh, just because you guys don't want to sit through uh, doing all this. So this is great here. We're going to get a lot of experience here from this Metapod. Uh, and honestly, we just have to hit tackle a million times. And that is what our grinding sessions are going to look like. We'll switch train if it's not a Metapod. And and then if it is, isn't, you know, we'll do all that stuff. So skipping ahead, uh, we are uh, got them leveled up some more. We're going to this Pikachu here. Uh, this is actually kind of bad because uh, both Pan and... I was about to head back to heal uh, at the Pokemon Center, but uh, mm, this, this might be interesting. Uh, now I'm paralyzed. Uh, he's not doing that much to me. But um, the fact that I'm paralyzed is kind of kind of frightening here uh, when it happens and like I can't obviously Hermes is gonna uh, do nothing. Uh, we'll put in Mr. D uh, and and see what we can do. Okay, got a hit off, but he got paralyzed. Uh, shoot. Okay, Thundershock. Okay, we got we got through that, but uh, was a little. A little interesting there for a second. We'll go heal up and go back. We grinded some more, um, get some more levels here. Uh, Weedle, level seven. It did learn sand attack. So uh, Strat now do a couple sand attacks, one or two sand attacks uh, so that their accuracy falls and they're missing moves. Um, and then do that. Pidgey goes to level eight. Uh, another Caterpie here, sand attack. Uh, so these guys, the trainers, it is important to hit these guys up and do some battles because we are going to uh, be doing, uh, getting more experience from those battles than others. Uh, Weedle here, uh, that's fine, we'll just tackle. Uh, so it looks like it's going to take two to take him out. Level eight, and we do grow to level nine. And so we do learn Gust, that's going to make Viridian Forest a lot easier. Uh, we'll go... Um, Heal up. I think our Bulbasaur is looking pretty good. And we've got Gust. So you can see, it's just going to knock people out now. Um, and we are going to... Um, the level caps that I've set are just the next gym leader. Um, so they'll grow as we go along. So Kakuna, uh, almost a one-hit KO. Uh, but we'll be able to tackle here, and that should be fine. And almost... Get out of there. Um, then, yeah, we'll go ahead and switch, um, I think, with Pan and do some more uh, gr level grinding. We're going to heal up, and then we can go get a Mankey, um, hopefully. Um, so there's a couple other things I think we can get in this patch, um, and I forget what it is. So Rattata is one. We already have Rattata, so we can't catch that. And I think there's Pidgeys. I think, or Spiros? I can't remember. There, but I'm pretty sure there's a Mankey in this, in Leaf Green, um, that you could possibly... Okay, so we it is a Mankey. Uh, so we'll go ahead and tackle. Um, I don't think I can risk doing another tackle there, because it's definitely going to knock him out. Uh, we'll catch Mankey, hopefully. Okay, we did get Mankey. Um, and I was thinking, 
Uh, I just remember Ash, whenever from the anime, Mankey got pretty mad uh, with Ash's hat. And, and it makes me think of Ares from the books. Um, whoops, not Alice. Ares. And so that's why we go with God of War um, and just the anger and everything there. Uh, we'll do some more training here for Pan. Gets a tackle. 31. Um, we can go heal up real fast and then we'll do our rival battle. Um, yeah, I think... So, so really, you can, this is a skippable battle. Like, if you don't do it, it's fine. Uh, but I'm going to do it just for the experience points. I think he has a level 9 uh, uh, Pidgey and then a level 9 um, Charmander. Cause we, and so uh, we'll go in and get rid of uh, switch Pidgey into the first spot. Oh, we do get a battle. It's not a bad deal. We can just run. Yeah. And we'll do this rival battle. Hopefully we do okay here. and Don't lose any of our party. Um, and then I think uh, that should be pretty good with where I want to be uh, kind of in this episode at. Uh, so we do sand attack a couple times. Uh, hopefully he starts missing. And we can do some tackles. I don't know if Gus would be better, honestly. So there. Get to level 11 now. Uh, so Pidgey's going to be pretty useless at the next gym. Uh, we'll do Gust a couple times. And there we go. So got through Rival Battle pretty unscathed. Not too bad at all. Uh, and that's where we're going to end the episode. We'll walk back and heal up our Pokemon. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this first episode of the Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Uh, gave you guys a little nostalgia. Uh, I do like how it looks on the Game Boy Advance of this game. Definitely uh, better overall from the blue version. If you guys did enjoy this video, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, keep on battling.